so the original sample comes from a song called I Miss You by Noriko Koze. And uh, on the record, it sounds like this. See, it's very slow, um, but you recognize the melody still. So when you want to change the speed of a sample, there's a number of ways to do it. Uh, the most basic is to change the playback rate of the sample, which changes the pitch and the speed together. Um, so if you speed up the sample, it plays back at a higher pitch. If you slow it down, it plays back at a lower pitch. Uh, same thing as you play with the speed on your record player, you play back an LP at like 45 speed and it'll play faster and higher. Or if you play 45 at LP speeds, it'll play back lower and slower. So then with the advent of digital sampling and being able to chop up samples into lots of little pieces, um, a producer could say chop up every beat of a sample or every eighth note. And then having each of those little pieces, you could uh, sequence them all in order and just change the playback speed of that sequence. And depending on if the sample was highly rhythmic or whether it was slower and more open, you could maintain the original pitch while having the illusion of a faster tempo because you'd be cramming all those beats closer together. Once samplers and software became more powerful, um, it was possible to separate the pitch and the speed and use different software algorithms to change the speed of a sample while leaving the pitch intact or change the pitch of a sample while leaving the speed intact. And that opened up a lot of possibilities uh, for things you couldn't really do previously with sampling. So when an original sample is a different speed or a different pitch or a different rhythm uh, than what's on the final record, the first step really is figuring out which of those methods was used. And uh, in this case, it was a variation on that chopping up every little beat thing because uh, Nujabes took every note he wanted to use and replayed them at the tempo that he wanted. So after chopping up almost every note in the piano sample, uh, the first pattern gets played like this. So that pattern makes up most of the song, uh, what I would call the verse section. And the pattern that makes up the chorus section sounds like this. The drums for this song are sequenced sampled drums. Uh, the first sound is a kick, sounds like that. Then you've got a soft clap. A nice little snare and a closed hi-hat and then the pattern for the drums goes like this and then if we add in the piano on the next go around The bass line for this track is a real simple sub bass. Uh, there's only three notes in it, and so I'll just go ahead and add it on top of the drums and the piano, and it sounds like this. So to finish up, we need to add in the vocal sample that comes in throughout a lot of the track. Uh, it's from a song called Marie by Kenny Rankin, uh, guitar and vocals. And you only hear the vocals in the track, uh, but on the original record it sounds like this. There's two little bits. Your hair piled up high. So that phrase and this phrase. You're a flower, you're a river, you're a rainbow. 
So on the original sample, you can hear the vocals, you can hear a guitar, you can hear some cymbals. So one of the ways you can sort of isolate those vocals is to filter out everything but those vocals. Uh, so I put a filter that only lets the frequencies around 1.2 kilohertz in. Uh, so with just that on, you hear this. Your head up, pad up high. And so you can still hear a little guitar, but it's soft enough to where when you play it with the rest of the track, all you hear is the vocals, and then it sounds like this. And then the other vocal phrase is just these three lines. You're a flower, you're a river, you're a rainbow. Same thing, you can hear the guitar, but when you play it with everything else, all you hear is. You're a flower, you're a river, you're a rainbow. So I've shown you all the pieces that make up the song, and I'll play the full arranged version uh, when the video ends in a second here. But uh, comment if you like the video, let me know what songs you'd like to see me do. This was actually a direct request. Uh, check out the website, beatbreakdown.net, for all the other episodes. Uh, I've got some tutorials, some drum kits, good stuff for producers there. So uh, I will see you on the next episode of Beat Breakdown.